Hey you guys, welcome back to Silk and Needle. Today I'm going to be binding a raw edge of knit fabric. And if you follow along with this step-by-step -step tutorial, so can you. So let's talk about binding. Um, I feel like binding sometimes is looked at as an intermediate sewing skill. And really, I just think that's not true. I think it's just something that if you've never done it before, it can look intimidating. Um, but it's actually something that's really simple. And I'm going to show you um, my favorite way to do it today. So let's talk about what... The purpose of binding actually is. Um, for today's tutorial, we're going to be viewing this top of this little scrap of fabric, um, this raw edge. This is, let's say, this is a neck hole or something, and we're going to be binding this neck hole. Um, binding is the same concept as adding a band to something. You're just covering a raw edge. That's all you're doing by binding this is um, you're just covering up a raw edge, making it look finished and polished. So the act of binding is literally taking this little binding piece and wrapping it around your raw edge. So like you fold it together and you wrap it around your raw edge, just like if you were using a woven pattern, this would be just like you would be making a bias tape, okay? So you're wrapping that around your raw edge and then you're just stitching this binding down. You're stitching this in place and holding this down to cover the raw edge. That's all binding is. Okay, so this seems complicated, right? Well, let's just make it uncomplicated. All right. Okay, so here we have our raw edge and here we have our binding piece. The first thing that I like to do is I take this edge of my binding piece and I just serge um, the edge. Okay, so I have serge this edge. If you don't have a serger and you are using your sewing machine, you can just zigzag um, right there along the edge if you want to. Okay, so the next thing I do is I take my, my raw edge and my binding piece and I lay them right sides together and I serge these two raw edges here. I serge these together. Okay, so we've got these two raw edges here. We are just going to serge those together. Okay, so now we've got these two raw edges surged together, and then we have this edge that we surged. All right, let's look at it on the table now. Okay, so got those raw edges covered, right? Okay, so all we're gonna do now is this is the front of our this is the front of our garment and the front of our binding piece, okay? So we're gonna fold this under. We just serge this basically to have a place to fold, all right? So we fold this under, and then we're gonna just line up our serge seam and then that edge that we surged. We're just gonna flip those together, all right? So from the other side, it looks like this. You lay this seam flat, and you fold this over, and then just fold these seams, these serge seams right on top of each other, match those up, okay? And then we just clip it as we go. I have three clips only, so I'm just gonna one, one at the beginning one at the end and one in the middle only. 
All right, so here's our third clip. Now this is the back side, all right? And from the side, you can see we're just folded around that seam, okay, in the front. Looks like this. Now, now that we have it pinned, all we're gonna do is we're gonna either go to our cover stitch machine or you can use your sewing machine with a twin needle um, and you're just gonna top stitch right here over the edge. I am gonna use my cover stitch machine and show this. Okay, so I have the Brother 2340 cover stitch and it is not my favorite, um, especially for like starting um, a binding because it just sometimes likes to skip stitches. So if you have this one, I will, and it's a very common one, so that's why I say this. I recommend, um, so when you're starting your binding, lower down your presser foot and then use the hand wheel and just hand crank a few times to like get it going. And you see, you can see mine's not really moving. And so I will sometimes like pull on these, um, like if I have any of my like tail left or anything like that, I'll just give it a little tug so that the feed dogs catch it and it starts moving. You can see that it's moving now, okay? Now that's only if you have this machine. If you don't have this machine and you have like a Juki or something better or whatever, um, you may not have that issue. Then you just slowly, slowly, you top stitch over your binding. Very slowly, you're just gonna top stitch over this. You just want to stretch it ever so slightly um, just to make sure that this is all staying straight. And then as you get to the end, um, if you have the brother, there's different ways to end your um, cover stitch um, and have it not come unraveled. Um, for the brother machine, you lift up your presser foot and you do one full hand wheel turn um, towards you and then you can pull your threads out and that's what your binding is going to look like. So this is the front obviously and then the back and then from the side. Well, if I trimmed these, it would look a lot nicer, but um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so this is what, in close up, this is what our binding looks like. It's just a quick finish for our raw edge. Here is the back. And then from the side, once it's trimmed, it looks a lot nicer. Okay, and if you're joining these raw edges together, like say this is the um, loop here, you're either gonna serge this closed um, or zigzag, whatever you're using. And then when you have this serge seam, you'll just flip it over just like this and do a little um, stitch on your, we'll flip that seam allowance over, just do a little stitch on your um, sewing machine just to hold that down and not have it like sticking out looking ugly, okay? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on binding. Um, I had a lot of fun showing you guys how to do this. If you followed along with this step-by-step -step tutorial, you can find two. See you guys next time.